I am Mr. Amjan Nai, uh, Deputy Director General from Departments of Urban and Housing Development, Ministries of Construction. Uh, affordable housing is the, one of the priorities of the Yangon region because uh, delivery, delivery affordable housing is uh, not only the good qualities of the our citizen, but also the urban resilience. Uh, urban resilience is the uh, current 21st century's global agenda. Therefore, uh, providing affordable housing is a very important agenda for Yangon region government. As you know, uh, if we don't know in detail about the current situation, then how to set up the actionable plan for the in future. So that uh, data, data with advanced technology is very important for the setting the plannings or strategy for future developments and sustainabilities. Housing rights is the second human rights. Uh, universally accepted by the all societies because housing is the basic needs of the human being, such as the food and clothing. And also, providing affordable housing is not only uh, fulfill the needs of the basic needs of the human being, but also the qualities of the life of the, our citizens and mores of the, our people. But uh, housing delivery or housing markets is very complex and very difficult to deliver. Therefore, uh, all stakeholders should participate in the deliveries of the affordable housing, especially private sector and financial institutions to support the promoting of the affordable housing productions in Yango. Thank you. Uh, my name is Lin Tan. Uh, I'm from Myanmar Developer Association. I'm the Chief Technical Officer for Myanmar Developer Association. We are a developers organization, so in terms of the uh, housing, you know, we develop condominiums, you know, the uh, high-rise apartments and things like that. Um, my role specifically is for responsible for information technology relating to uh, housing, real estate and um, condominiums. We are currently developing a housing database at the moment uh, for the private sector. Uh, this is only to, to use for the uh, Myanmar Developer Association. It's in many ways similar to HREIS currently being proposed by ADB and uh, LexaNexis is taking the uh, lead in scoping out. So pretty much we've done the, uh, all the groundwork as, as it were. So we are working together with LexaNexis to formulate for the uh, further expansions. Just as the Chief Minister said earlier, Yangon has become like a mega city and uh, it has a great potential in terms of the economic investments and um, a lot of business potentials. Data has become increasingly important in recent years and it started to help making decisions and then like better market positioning and so on. So technology is very important and uh, most of the manual system need to be digitally transformed. Strong legal framework and data transferring goes hand in hand. Um, one cannot exist without the other, especially in data transparency. The accuracy of data is vitally important. In, a, in terms of making informed decisions. So, and also the legal framework requiring this data to be disclosed to the right party in the right relevant way. So it is very important. I'm Thieu Han Tei, Joint Secretary from Yangon Region Yan Entrepreneur Association, YRYEA. So our association is comprised of 800 members in Yango. So we're focused mainly, uh, mainly in Yango. So what our association members are starting from the mom and pops, like a, a small uh, businesses to like a public companies in Yango. In our association, our entrepreneurs face two main challenges. 
First thing is how to access to the market. Second thing is to rental costs. So this system, HREIS, we strongly believe it will tackle both uh, problem by lowering, uh, give us the access to data, and not only access to data, it will give us a transparency to the market. So they will start to know uh, even before they started to work for, for the project. So HRI has started as an information system for real estate, but it, we strongly believe it can be more than the real estate. So uh, at the end of the day, data is everything. So with that, we, our association will support in any way, in any step necessary to tackle this project. Join me as a woman. เมมาดีเวล็อปเปอร์แอสโซเซชั่นเนี่ยอดีตมุขผิดไปเลยอาจารย์รู้เมมาดีเวล็อปเปอร์แอสโซเซชั่นอันนี้ไปดูที่เอ
towards this project. Hi, I'm Hannah Lim and I'm Head of Rule of Law and Emerging Markets for LexisNexis Southeast Asia. So we're very happy to be in Yangon this week to be working on a housing real estate information system with the Yangon region government. And our role right now is to conduct a scoping exercise to try to understand what are the requirements and what are some of the pain points that people are going through when it comes to collecting data and making that data accessible. And we really hope that this will form the start of a very long journey in making data transparent to the government of Yangon. And we've been very grateful for all the support that we've gotten from the government of Myanmar. We have met with people from the DUHD, we're going to meet with the people from the YCDC, the ORD, the Attorney General's Office, and we're of course extremely grateful to His Excellency Upio Mintain for all his support in what we've been doing.